Good morning. Chill it out. What you focus on grows. Feed them horses. Three more pots coming your guys' way. I'm trying to rush through these a little bit today. I'm so exhausted. Um, but we're gonna still, we, we're here again today, every day, right? I'm gonna get over there, so green, off, green, off. Kimmer B. Push this down. his veg and we're gonna slowly bring this up and I can already feel all there's a ton of air bubbles in this one I should have wedged it a little bit more hello from Athens Greece you know it's kind of funny you guys could totally just be like making up like where you're located from and saying that in chat right like somebody could I, I believe you guys but I'm just saying like you could probably say like <laughs> somebody said hi I'm on my mom's phone so we could say like, oh, coming at you from a, coming at you from a smart refrigerator, you know. All right. Anyway, a little bit of water on the inside. Camera C. Camera C. I'm gonna go right underneath here, and I'm gonna slowly open this up, and I'm cutting through that bottom edge there, right? And that's what we're doing, right? We always use our fingers as a cutting tool, not to push the clay, right? <laughs> Hello from Antarctica. That's what I'm saying, right? That's so funny. Alright, so we're gonna grab this little bump and we're slowly gonna walk this up. And so it's a little bit too thin. And so as you can see, it's kind of wobbling a little bit, but we're just gonna walk this up, right? We take that, it's like a little snail. Going to find his next meal. Right to his top edge there, he's chilling out. Alright. Someone said it looks like chocolate. Why don't I sell them? Because as soon as you start selling stuff, it changes the way that you perceive the work, right? You're trying to market it, right? I'm not, this isn't for anything other than to test my mentality, right? No, maybe one day, just not yet, right? Okay, so here we're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Six, two, three, four. All right, here we're gonna go. Ready? And slowly push this outwards, and that's gonna twist right up. And then we're gonna slowly lift our hands as we're doing that. There we're gonna go. And we're gonna kiss this rim. And get our first treat. You gotta keep an eye on it because it's not fully collapsed yet. So if it starts tilting, I'm gonna change it, right? Yeah, a lot of people will throw with cream cheese as a, a thing, but I don't know. Sometimes it just looks a little bit gross to me. I feel like I'd like chocolate more. Why do people keep saying take a bite? I don't know. Everybody's spamming it. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, so we're just going to try to realign that. We're gonna go right down at this base, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skip, 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 skip. And then we got the pedals on the bottom. So there we go. Right underneath. Tree vibes. Yep, I call them my trees. So here we got. Here we are. We gotta check. Any rabbits in there? No rabbits. Okay. Got to fill up the pond. You can't have the tadpoles drying out. Go right down to the bottom. Use your Captain Hook, the best villain in Peter Pan. And then slowly cut through that base. You know, we're never pulling. We're always cutting through that base. Oh, no. Not the ghost comment again. Yes, I've, I've seen ghost. And if anybody's wanting to watch it... It's not a pottery movie. All right, but here we are at the bottom again. We're slowly walking up this little bump. Always imagining that snail. And you can see it's getting a little bit thin, so it's getting wobbly there. 
But I'm not freaking out. I'm just continuing on with the pull. Sometimes your path is not going to be well defined, right? There's this episode in um, Adventure Time called My Way, right? I love this episode of Adventure Time. And basically, the whole entire thing, Finn goes like out of his way to make things extremely difficult for himself. I actually don't remember the end, so I don't know if it's actually a good or a bad thing. But I just like the idea of like, you don't choose a path that's defined, you make your own path. I really like that quite a bit. All right, so here we are. We're gonna slowly walk this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Getting ready for the twist. A little bit of water right on this edge here. And slowly pop this. I'm in a cartoon right now. This music is giving me like children's cartoon vibes. Like I feel like I'm in like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves or something. Alright, curling this up. I'm gonna fold this. The key with the tandrils is that you want to touch them as little as possible. All right, that's really the key for the tandrils there. What are you making? I'm making trees. I'm always making trees. Again, slowly curl this up, and after every single twist, you just kind of press it up against the clay. The clay should be wet enough where it's going to hold that, and then there we go. And slowly bump these in at the base. Okay. Sounds like I never get mad. Yeah, you know, I well, I used to get be an extremely outwardly angry person. Now I'm just really internally angry, but I've learned that you gotta use your anger and emotions as fuel, right? And you gotta channel that into what you do, right? Not, and you can't, like my big thing is, here, hold on, camera C, camera C. My big thing is that whenever you enter a space, you can't bring uh, a negative energy into that space when you weren't initially a part of it, right? And so I have a really, um, I really believe that, so I've been training my my mental or my emotional control for a little bit now. So now, when I get angry, I can just kind of use that anger as like energy rather than as something negative. Who's your favorite basketball player? Oh my God, Kobe. Always Kobe, no matter what Kobe, yo. For real. Literally, his mentality is just so beautiful. If you've ever, uh, if you do you know, um, if y'all don't know who Kobe Bryant is, really just look up some of like motivation or Kobe Bryant mentality on YouTube. And he's such an inspiration. Camera B. Starting to twist. You can add some water. There we go. Slowly bring this down. Nice. Bring the hand right over top. Thumbs. We gotta make sure we're gonna push down, and we gotta always check for rabbits first, right? Any rabbits? Some. No rabbits in there. Okay. Fill up the pond, can't have the tadpoles drying out. And I slowly cut across this bottom edge here, right? Smooth out that base. 
All right, grab the llama. Llama's gonna come down, right, bite on this, and then slowly pull this up. Somebody says, see you later. All right, I'll see you around. Josh Joshua says, what's up, man? First time here. Thanks, thanks for stopping by, Joshua. Yeah, we're gonna push this up to find this little bump. We're gonna take that right up, right? Always imagining as a lift, you lift a baby bird up into the sky, right? We're actually going to do a collar on this. I'm going to collar this in here. Emmanuel Brown says it's their first time too. Oh no, I feel like I opened up a can of worms by saying their name. So now everybody wants it. There's a lot of people who like when I say, like they'll come in to here and they'll always ask me to say their name which I really don't understand why. So sometimes it makes me feel weird. Like, do you want me to, like, why do people want me to say their name? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna first, we're gonna set a bump here. And I'm feeling like I wanna do a double bump here, right? So we're gonna start right above that first initial bump. And now we're gonna slowly bring this out over top. There we go. And this one, we're gonna curl it a couple times. Almost like a coil. Bring that in, bring this in. Okay, bring that out, bring that out, bring this in, bring this in. There we go. All righty. All righty, camera C. Camera C. All right. So we're going to lift this one up. Oops, I'm getting a little bit stuck on there. We'll set this down. Hello everybody, we're back. We got three more pots. I'm gonna start over here with the double pot, or the double bump, right? I like when I do the little small bump and then bump it on the top. I always think it gives it space, where some, it's a little bit too much of a shadow, so you can't really see those nice little moments where that spiral kind of lessens and bleeds right into that tree top there. So I'm a big fan of this one. I did a normal pattern tandrel on the bottom, just some nice twist. I didn't do anything too crazy. I made every one kind of have its own little personality though, right? And then I have this one over here. I did a petals on the bottom. I did 10, so I have five petals. I really like how it's a small petal. I also really appreciate the way that this treetop sort of goes out and then tucks back in ever so slightly. And it's a very soft, it almost reminds me of like a tea bowl shape on that top there, right? So I'm a big fan of that one as well. I think overall, actually today, they're some pretty good ones, uh, but they're, they're not like super exciting. They're just good, you know? And then we got the one on the top here. We got the tangles functioning more as those appendages, a little fold. It's not really a motive right now. There's not really any lean to it that I can see that's really, you know, selling that it's maybe has some personality to it. But I do always like the way those double tangles work. But anyway, guys, hey, thank you so much for watching. All the best and strong mentality.